Alright guys, it's your boy Titanic Fee Jack and I'm here today with an OG sneaker review. I just got back from the store, but before we get into it, I need you guys to hit that like button, drop a comment in that comment section, let me know your thoughts on today's sneaker. Also, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video right here on this channel. And most importantly, sub up to the channel. Now today, this is the box of the OG sneaker that we're gonna look at today. And as I show you the box, make sure you guys go down in that description box if you wanna interact with me further than here on YouTube. My socials are linked down in that description box. And that is the size tag that I just showed you guys. I'm gonna read it to you. It says Air Jordan 7 Retro. Color white, black, Cardinal red, and this is a size 14. As I flip over the fold over box top, we gonna look inside. You can see that big lot stamp right there in blue. Turn it around, and we do have a little sticker right there. Looking at the paper, you have that splatter on your paper like we normally get with Jordan 3s or 4s. And here we go. In the box, your green and white YCM sticker. And that is everything that comes in the box, guys. So, there you go. Here's the box. Without further ado, let's get into the show. Here we go, guys. We have the Air Jordan Retro 7 called the Red. This is the silhouette that Michael Jordan won his second NBA title wearing, the Air Jordan Retro 7s. This is an OG colorway. Mike actually did wore this color. And just like most of all other retro sellers, it's going to be disrespected and going to be left sitting at your local store. So if you want this sneaker for retail or you want to wait around until it gets discounted, you can go ahead and uh, cop this sneaker. Just check your local stores. But I actually wasn't going to get it until I realized I had a $50 discount I could have used on these. So I got these for $160 plus tax. So this was a win-win. As I get into the sneaker, you have an all-white base. And you can see how wrinkled and tumbled the leather is right here on the quarter panels. And yes, they did do a real good job. I don't have the OGs, but I know... Uh, Physical Nightmare is his IG, that's the homie. I was kicking it with him a little bit earlier when I picked these up. He actually has an OG pair of these from 1992, and he posted a couple pics so you can see the comparison to this retro in 2022 versus the 1992 pair. And uh, we have a gold Jordan Jump Man on here. And you got your Mountain Peaks right here in the red. You got black on that midsole, mountain peak right here, red and white. And it's gonna lead to your outsole. This is your Air Jordan 7 outsole. You got that black, your gold, your uh, card in the red, and you got your white. Look on the back, you got your gold pull tab. You got your two, three. But I wanted to show you guys how the back curves a little bit. Is a little is almost in OG form the back, but look at the uh, pictures on uh, Physical Nightmares uh, comparison. Actually, gonna put it up so you guys can see. But well, you also have the two, three, and white. You got the red on top of the red and the white. I'm sorry, the red and the black. And looking at the medial side of the sneaker. More of that nice tumble leather on the quarter panels up here around the ankle. You got your little ventilation right here with that black suede, just like it was on the other side. There's actually black suede right here. And on your uh, medial side, you do have your mountain piece right there, red and white on that black midsole made of fire line. And looking at the toe box, give you guys a good look at that toe box. And let's get all this chicken gets the stuff out of here. And this in here also comes with some tissue. There you go, white tissue in here. And you can see you got that white silky 
feeling uh, material on your tongue all the way up and you do have air jawed and brought on here in black white laces is the only laces these come with and you can see the uh corner red from the front they got it high it's not that high on the og pair and you can see your uh size and tag i'm gonna read it to you us size 14 production date august the 30th i'm sorry that's march the 30th of this year to june 24th of this year so almost three months of production and you do have the uh insert that you will have on the uh on the harachi you got your harachi inserts in here this sneaker was kind of patterned after the harachi or vice versa but they are just alike with this insert in this little ventilation deal right here looking on the inside yes the insert will come out let's see this now we have a black insert you know i got the chicken right yeah y'all saw that video i made earlier go back check it out after this one from them uh joe fresh good new battles i got from the goat app you got your car in the red nike air branding your size is sticker on here and underneath the insert there you go right there this is what your pair should look like i right, hit the raffle on the Gibbet app i had to pick it up from city gear this is a nice pair I try to get all the OGs if I like them, but I know one OG that's coming out that I'm not getting for the two, and that's the Air Jordan Retro 2. I never did like the twos, and I'm not going to get it now because it's hyped up. That's one thing about me, I'm not going to buy a shoe because it's hyped up. I'm going to buy it because I like it. And this is my third pair of sevens. I like it. It's OG, and bam, I can bust these to go see Zion. Dunking on these people hating the NBA, you hear me? But this is the sneaker. Let me know your thoughts on it. And like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feed Jack. I'm signing out.